Nissan Juke since 2010. Hello everyone! When buying a used Juke, the first thing to do is inspect the bodywork. Although the characteristic places where corrosion appears, the baby doesn't have so many. One of them is the rear pillars. We advise you to book these places with a protective film, as well as the coat the body seems with a special anti-corrosion compound. The rest of the body parts are quite resistant to our climate. True, the paintwork is frail and the body iron is rather thin. Therefore, chips and stretch quickly appear on the case, which, however, are not in a hurry to be covered with rust or bubbles. The windshield is also not immune from damage. It is quickly rubbed with brush and can crack from a harmless chip. Headlights are covered with cracks and mirrors burst in severe frost. It should be noted that bumpers are over time. The reason is weak fastening cups which weakly deform and lose strength. Interior details also can boast of durability. After a year or two, the steering wheel bridge is wiped off, covered with chips and the protective transparent plastic on the instrument panel is overwritten, and stretch remain on the hard plastic of the dashboard from any careless contact with hard objects. And what to do with the growing colony of crickets with age? Most owners are moving in the right direction. Usually, squeaks and annoying sounds are made by sofa mounting loops or a poorly blue windshield. Not everything is safe with selling electrical equipment. Most of all, complaints come to the clips of climate control and multimedia. Identification of this malfunction and even a more so repair is rather dreary and expensive. Often the power window servers are capricious, the central lock fails, the bulbs of internal and external lighting burn out. However, all this doesn't pull on statistics. What can be said about the engines? In general, they are reliable, especially 94 horsepower, technically simple and unpretentious, reliable and inexpensive content. Sure, there are not so many such modifications on the market. 170 horsepower and turbo versions prevail, which are much more capricious. For example, on the first copies of the Juke, after 100,000 km, the timing chain can stretch on these engines. If this happens, the four does not uh, start well, just due to the departure of the gas distribution phases. And at one fine moment, the engine will not start. The camshaft position sensor will work. By this time, the rear is the most loaded engine mount usually were asked. They are either to stand to one and a half times longer. Keep in mind that with age, all three forms begin to snow. Oil and coolant leak through the seals and seals. The fact is that instead of traditional gasket, they use a sealant and it dries out after 5 to 7 years. The coolant level should be checked periodically. Moreover, it can leave the expansion tank, which often cracks at a joint or through the thermostat sealing ring. If the car starts which, check the fuel pump which starts to work intermittently due to a clogged filter. Compared to a naturally sprayed 1.6 liter engine with the HR16DE index, its turbo version MR16DDT with direct injection is more demanding on the point of fuel and all due to its more complex design. In addition to the stretching timing chain and other minimal function characteristic of its younger brother, the turbo engine had problems with the crankless gas recirculation system and the intake manifold. But the turbo knows for a surprisingly long time, an average of about 150,000 km and even more. In addition, the Japanese quickly responded to the insufficient resource of the timing chain by offering a reinforced version. Mechanical 5- and 6-speed gearboxes are unconditionally reliable. Only by 150,000 km can the linkage of the air lever loosen. But replacing plastic bushing using a repair kit costs more pennies. But there are more problems with the variety and most importantly is paid much more on them. Two types were installed on the Duke. A Jarko df 11 e variator was combined with a 170 horsepower engine and its enhanced version was combined with a turbo. The first one broke fast and more often. There were times when it fell apart already at 20,000 km and jammed and pushed out bearings catched inside the box and turned its body into the trash. Usually the push belt wears out by 150,000 km. You can't pull with a replacement. A water belt will inevitably leave scarf marks on the surface of the conical pulleys. In addition, along with the belt, the bearings of the driver and driving shafts are usually updated. At risk is also a stepper motor that changes the gear ratios of the variator. The reinforced version of the CVT is more durable, and the cost of repairing both gearboxes is almost the same. And to don't forget to change the oil in them every 6,000 km. But the Juke all-wheel drive system is reliable and only needs regular oil change in the gearboxes, transfer case and electromagnetic latch. However, if you try, you can ruin it. The car is not intended for off-road sorties and long sleep in the snow mud will sooner or later finish off not only important transmission element, but also the variator, not bound with problems and charts. The weak point in it can be called the support bearings of the front struts, which are poorly protected from dirt. Often by 20,000 to 30,000 km, a characteristic ritual will hurt their failure. The remaining elements of the charts live up to hundreds of thousand kilometers and longer, with the exception perhaps of the stabilized struts and portion which wear out at 50,000 to 80,000 kilometers. Approximately the same amount was released to the steering tips and the shaft crows. Remember that the joke is equipped with an electric booster. If suddenly the mechanism fails, don't rush to sound the alarm and order a tow track. 
As a rule, it is enough to buy a new battery. And it is better if it's more powerful. The capacity of the standard battery is not always enough, especially in the cold season. But a sudden breakdown of the master brake cylinder can already lead to very serious consequences, up to an accident. After all, there are no alarming symptoms before this. You just press the brake pedal and the car doesn't stop. Therefore, periodically check the condition of the brake cylinder and change to the slightest sign of a leak. As you can see, a used bug will not open the second owner with the motors built for unplanned repairs, but only on conditions that you choose a modification with a manual transmission. If you have a chivalry handle, we recommend the top version of the crossover with a turbo engine. It has a stronger and more durable variator. If you have a hatch such a model, share information about what and how it breaks in the comments.